Dynamics 365 Marketing boasts powerful capabilities to carry out your activities and marketing strategy. Personal data is a big issue, however, and needs to be carefully considered at every step when undertaking any campaigns or tasks. Protecting stakeholders' data is a legal requirement as per the GDPR legislation brought in 2018. The scope of this video is not all encompassing for every GDPR implication and its relation with Dynamics 365 Marketing, but it's to provide an overview of its capabilities to dealing with contact level data. If you have a Dynamics implementation set up, we strongly suggest speaking to your consultant who will understand the unique business processes of your organization. So to start with, an overview of what GDPR is. If you aren't familiar, General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR, is an EU legislation set up in 2018 to safeguard the data of its citizens. With cases of large and small businesses and organisations losing or mistreating customer data and putting the welfare of citizens at risk, the EU decided to act by issuing hefty fines for those that fail to secure data, with the firm belief that everyone has the right to respect for his or her private and family life, his, her home and his or her correspondence. This also means citizens have the right to access personal data held by organisations, as well as modify and for it to be deleted. In addition, consent must be freely given, specific, informed and unambiguous, which includes data held and also the communications they receive. I will provide a link in the description for further information on the GDPR legislation. In order to achieve compliance, Microsoft has built in tools to help businesses. As an overview, Dynamics Marketing lets businesses request, store and capture consent of users and design marketing activities to respect consent. Dynamics also enables your audience to be able to give consent and review or revoke at any time. Microsoft also has controls for double opt-in, data audits, and dealing with requests. In addition, hierarchical consent levels are available out of the box that a contact record can store and your marketing activities respect, such as when configuring a segment or starting a customer journey. The consent levels are consent, transactional, subscriptions, marketing, and profiling. You can create marketing pages and forms that encourage contacts to grant a higher level of consent. Firstly though, we need to enable GDPR. To do this, this can be performed by going to your marketing settings then data protections and adding a new configuration. You will then need to toggle respect consent and click save in the top ribbon. To create an activity that asks users to give higher consent, we will need to create a form. To do this, go to your left menu Navigate to the marketing form link and select a template, or you can start your own. Next, navigate to the right hand toolbox and scroll down to the field and search for consent and drag it into your form. If this doesn't exist in your system, we can create a new field and match it against the consent entity. To do this, go to form fields on the left hand menu and click new. Call your field Consent, select Option Set in Field Type, drop down under Rendering Control, then configure the rest how you choose and click Save. We'll then be able to use this in our marketing form. Set Consent Level for Customer Journey. Under the General tab, you can select the minimum consent given, such as Consent, Transactional, Profile and so on. This means the contact record will need to have the provided consent for this level and above for them to be part of the customer journey and therefore receive any communications. You can follow the same process with audience segments with the same principles that can kick off the customer journey. The email designer checks to see if you have included a link to unsubscribe and manage preferences. It also has a built-in spam and accessibility checker which provide a list of reasons and warnings for not meeting criteria. In addition, your emails can be set as transactional or commercial, which have different implications on which content your email can have. Dynamics will provide 
reminders as you decide this, as you can make sure you are complying with the legal framework. In addition, Microsoft will check that you've included mandatory, unsubscribe and preference centre links, as well as business address information. Dynamics does not permit an email send without them. To comply with GDPR, you must have double opt-in set up. This means when a contact signs up for consent via marketing page form, they must then confirm it with an automated email sent to them. This is a built-in feature of Dynamics Marketing and can be configured and customised under Settings, Default Marketing Settings, Global Level Double Opt-in. Dynamics 365 also has a solution for dealing with data requests. GDPR stipulates you must be able to deal with requests for personal data. You can automate the process of dealing with a contact requesting, changing or deleting their data by using Customer Journey. To do this, create a form for each of these requests and use it to start a Customer Journey. From here, you'll need to create a task related to each and set the owner as your organization's data officer. Lastly, send an email to send acknowledgement or further data instructions to the contact. A data officer can quickly email a customer data using an Office 365 template. You can export all information about a specific contact when requested using a standard PDF export and Microsoft Word templates. The data officer can do this by navigating to the contact record view and on the top ribbon clicking the three vertical dots label then clicking export to PDF. The data officer can choose the template and to email, download, or to save to Dynamics. For auditing purposes, you can record and view consent level changes made by users by navigating to your contact level record and navigating to the GDPR consent changes record. This will provide you with a list of all changes made, when they were taken from, and what source was used to make the change, such as a web form. Dynamics can keep a record of all database changes, who made them and when. You can use this to show when GDPR consent was changed for each contact and by whom. To enable this, go to Settings, System, Auditing. However, we strongly advise you to speak with your Dynamics 365 consultant or partner before making changes to a system. Hopefully you found this overview for Dynamics 365 Marketing GDPR compliance features informative and useful. If you have any questions on these features or require clarification, we would be happy to help.